The living word is broken. It is lost for words at the loss of its word to comfort the flock betrayed by the shepherds. The sacred is treasoned. Belief in belief is shattered, smithereened, smashed to bits. Sorrow and trauma fill congregations of lost, scattered churchgoers. Faith in church and out is a sacked room. Could this be Christ's work? Confronting not the money merchants in the temple, but his very own apostles and vicars. His once servants, now the self-servants. All eyes torn away in hurt, closed tightly in deep-felt shame at the shamelessness of it all. This is no glorious, terrible beauty born, but entire disgrace upon us all. For atrocity, inhumane cruelty, acts of barbarism, insult and injustice, havoc has been perpetrated down upon generations of children, boys and girls, men and women, by our priests, our orders of religious congregations, those we were loyal to, while our bishops stood idly by those of us who were trespassed upon without mercy. The living word is struggling to live up to its name. No comfort now in the good church, created to love and cherish all. Dimmer now the sarcasy lamp, and the living word is struggling to live up to its calling. Voices from within a scream emerge through the raging pages of the unholy Bibles. Testimony from Murphy, Ryan, and friends. No tales here of Cuchulain's childhood deeds, no myths, no freedom dreams, only perpetual sackcloth and ashes. Listener, listen, please don't abandon me. Stay present, intimate, for surely what I say is the living truth. Ordered into slavery by courts and state, trafficked into the hands of tormentors, some men and women of the cloth of the church, the trusted ones, the ones we were loyal to. But their work, their work was not for the greater glory of God. Not in my name laments the living word. We are shocked, a nation bewildered, a world blitzkrieg, super traumatized by the revelations, the scandals, the facts, the evidence, the witness testimonies of the starved, beaten and slaved on this Republic of Ireland, on the island of Ireland's land. Stand now, this moment, your ground, on your own two feet, and feel this truth, this day, this moment, right now. Feel your own loss of fate, your own pain and distress, disgust at what happened, at what is happening. When we all stood idly by, and no one came to the rescue, nobody bothered. You turned God's miracles into frightened, gibbering wrecks, stripped of everything. Own that now before you begin to atone, or seek reconciliation or healing. Offer up personal responsibility, accountability, unconditionally, this now, this immediate instant. Offer it up, if only for the life of the living word that was in the beginning. Time now not to turn the other cheek, because they say they do, because they know not what they do, yet they still do. Protecting their reputations, their assets, their positions, their status, the wealth of their church, their church, not ours. The living word 
has nothing to give but gives. A gesture. While they have no poverty anymore, no chastity, no obedience, they threw it all away, the honest truth that was to set us free. Perhaps it is time now for you not to consider your resignations, but to reconsider your vocations. All of you who served your own will and your self-centered flimsy institutions, stand back now from that rock upon which you have brutally collapsed our church. Our Father, who art in heaven, this is not about giving us our daily revenge, not about not forgiving them their trespasses. We know deep down we are not forsaken, that this is not in vain. But, Lord, we are only human beings whose dreams were not tread softly upon, but harshly stood upon. Who is accountable? Who is responsible? Where is responsibility? Who will lead us not into temptation? Is it fate? Is it hope? Is it charity and unconditional love? If so, Lord, give it here. Pour it out. Aid us now. Supply us from every quarter in the midst of this catastrophe. This church made disaster, this organized criminality, this treason of trust. Breed life into the living word. The living word is dead, has passed away, overwhelmed by acts of man's inhumanity to man, woman, and children. Infants, heartbroken, despaired by the self-serving, indemnified church. You did a disservice to your trusting flock, but we'll say no more of that. Fruitless now to cling to tragedy, to stay in loss, in fury, in grief, in anger. Best let go, best try to make progress from here, from this day, from this now. Nothing now but the last words of the living word. Remember my meaning. Cherish its essence. Begin anew. There but for the grace of God go I. Forgive yourself. Author of the Christian brothers, I forgive you. Order of the Oblate Fathers of Mary Immaculate, I forgive you. Order of St. John of Gods, I forgive you. Order of the Sisters of Mercy, I forgive you. Order of the Good Shepherd, I bear no grudge against you. Order of the Buddhas of Charity, I forgive you. All religious congregations, I forgive you. Priests, bishops, Cardinals, Popes, trespassers all, I forgive you and I forgive myself. <laughs>